Ladies, are you allowing the moon to dictate your life and tell you when to take action and when not to take action? But yet at the same time, on the other side of all of that, you're going, I'm not even where I really want to be. Like I say, I want to create these things, but why aren't these things showing up in my life? Well, if that's you, keep listening. So one of the things that I'm starting to see as a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a trend. As, this, as the world becomes a little bit more spiritual, when everybody starts to become more awake, people are starting to become more in tune with the moon, the moon cycles. Now women, I'm not talking about your personal cycles, so keep that conversation out of this one. I am purely talking about the cycles of the moon and how that is impacting your energy flow. Now, there is that, that viewpoint of, oh, it's a full moon, okay, I must rest, or it's a new moon, I must um, go through like regressions and, and let up, give up things. Yes, I'm not 100% all over it, so if I got that wrong, don't jump all over me. But the point of the matter is, is yes, I understand and respect there is different times of the moon cycle for different particular activities, be it to remember or to let go or anything like that. So if you're utilizing it for something like as a jogging your memory for something, perfect, and allowing the energy to flow and just sit in the bathing glory of the, the energy of a full moon or a new moon, yes, by all means do that. But the thing that I'm starting Starting to see is that when it comes to oh the moon is in this cycle or in this phase therefore I can't do anything now the thing is is when you came to this earth whether you want to look at it as being a spiritual being having a, a human experience or a human being have a spiritual experience no matter what either of those two viewpoints still talk about the two concepts and the two connections between spirituality and human being. The whole point of that is being able to, to operate in both realities. Now, I personally have been in the distance of one and then back into the other one and now finding the balance in between. I've been that guy who's been meditating so much that I'm so high spiritually and just so disconnected from the physical reality that I'm not able to actually produce the results that I want, but yet I'm sitting there going, why aren't they showing up? Because I'm so connected to the spiritual world. I'm just gonna manifest these things and why aren't they showing up? And at the same time, I've got to that point and gone well this process isn't working therefore I'm gonna cut myself off from the spiritual space and just become so connected to the physical and understand the laws of the physical world so that I can actually put those into practice and achieve and create the results and life that I'm looking for that life that I keep saying that I want now neither of those work being too heavily in the spiritual you're not gonna have the fulfillment in the physical world because you're const constantly going to be sitting in a dreamland sitting in a land that is just like oh I'm just gonna manifest this Ferrari to me I'm gonna manifest the business results I'm gonna manifest all of these things but the truth of the matter is is they're not going to show up unless you actually put the actions into the physical world and at the same time when you're so heavy in the physical world you cut yourself off from connection and not just connection to the higher source God spirit universe whatever you want to call it but connection to others so people have an experience of you then when you are that you are cold and just disconnected and that is the same experience that you're gonna have with life if that is you that is, is gone too heavily in there so now the concept and the lesson that you're here to learn in this incarnation is how to live in both realities. How to live in that physical world, understand the laws of the physical, which is all about putting in work, action, and all of that side of things, and also living in the spiritual world and allowing that to show up in a way that is not going to stop you from taking action in the physical world, but it's still going to allow you to, to sit in that place of manifesting and connection and visualization and being able to get the, the downloads and things that you're desiring and you're connecting to. So that is the lesson that you're here to learn in this particular incarnation now there's an art to it it's a balancing act and I understand that at times people can go one way or the other way and it is hard to be able to find that balance so if that's something that you're struggling with book in a clarity call with myself let's go and start having a bit of a conversation around it let's start to uncover where it is that you've lost yourself along the way so that we can rejoin both parts of you so that you become the human being having the spiritual experience or the spiritual being having the human experience that you know you were born to be so that you don't have to come back into another incarnation and learn the lesson again. Let's learn it in this lifetime. So if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.